Well, I was lucky enough to get the 1.2 beta of XGPS, and so now I'm going to show you some of the features that will be released shortly. Um, this should be released at the end of the month, so you can get it there. Um, the repo is cydia.xwaves.net, and you can find the website for this application at xgpsdev.xwaves.net. So let's first get into it. very fast to launch. Now I have GPS disabled. Uh, I'm currently inside of a building so I can't exactly turn that on. Well, actually it's on so let me go ahead and disable it. So first let's go into the settings and as you can see I have it in offline mode right now. What that means is I do not have it's basically not going to ask for a connection to the internet and it's going to use all of the map information from what is saved in a database on the phone itself. So first, let's go to general. Now you can prevent the sleep, prevent your iPhone or iPod Touch from sleeping. I have miles unit turned on so it shows up in miles. And language I have it set to English so when it does text to speech it will speak English. And this is version 1.20 test. Uh, wireless transfer does not work currently. It is going to be added later. So let's go to GPS. And from here you can select different GPS modules. Um, they actually do sell a GPS um, for the iPod Touch and for the first generation iPhone owners. So that's another reason why this application is really good is because it can use you know the homebrew version of GPS because not every you know touchscreen product from Apple has GPS. I have the 3G so it uses the built-in GPS. So let's go back here. So here you can turn on driving instructions and you can save bookmarks. And you can set up to log where you are. It basically sets up a log file. Pretty interesting. And from here, the most important thing is you can change your user interface. Uh, I generally have the speedometer turned off. Uh, back, I usually have all these off, um, except for the wrong way. I, I want to turn that off. What wrong way does is it'll alert you, let you know that you're diverting from the, you know, where you're wanting to go, and it'll come up and saying you're going the wrong way. And it does offer a night mode, which is really nice. So let's go into the actual application. So this is showing showing where I'm at. I can move the, move the map anywhere I want because GPS is there. GPS is off. And so I can just go around. Now keep in mind all this map information is cached on the phone. It's actually quite small. It took it took about fifty megabytes to store a few different levels of my entire city. So I can move the phone now. A nice thing is I can turn it and it automatically switch into the other view. So GPS is completely disabled. So you hit enable and this is going to pull me up. I have poor signal but that's because I'm inside. So let's turn night mode on to give you an idea of what night mode looks like. So this is night mode. It's it's almost like a inverted thing. Um, you can do this on your Mac. So it's a really nice feature to have. And it does a really good job of finding where I'm at. So let's go, let's search for a city. Columbus, Ohio. So it drops a pin. Now I don't have Columbus, Ohio set as a... I don't have that in a... Uh, in the maps. I don't have that saved. So it's not going to show up. So let's try something else. Let's try... So 
So now it's basically showing me how to get to a different area of town. Let me turn night mode off. And here it says head north on Melomad to go to Sylvania. And if I zoom out, you can see you can see where it's taking me. And the voice, the text of voice, you know, works really well. It tells you where you need to turn. It's prompt. It's easy to understand. I've had some GPS units that are almost impossible to understand or they start talking and you you know once you miss the first part of the sentence you you can't hear the rest and this what what this will do is it'll set out an audio alert it'll play a sound and then it'll say turn left here so it's really nice this is a really great application um, look for it in Cydia it's going to be coming out there is a pre -beta, pre beta out there right now that is not this version and this version should be launching by the end of the month and there should be more updates coming so I really look forward to seeing this application mature and you know become one of those killer apps for jailbreaking well thanks for watching uh, again the URL is xgpsdev.xwaves.net and it should be out by the end of the month Thanks.